Here are 10 things you probably didn't know about tetanus. Number one, tetanus can be fatal. In fact, about 10 to 20% of tetanus cases result in death, usually due to suffocation caused by muscle spasms. The risk of death is higher if the victim is diabetic or older than 60. Number two, there are usually no immediate symptoms of tetanus. Although the tetanus bacteria enters the body at the time of injury, it can take up to three weeks after an injury for the symptoms to appear. For most people, symptoms start showing up after seven days, but the onset of symptoms can wax and wane, and is often correlated with how close to the brain the bacteria's point of entry is. The closer to the brain, the sooner symptoms will likely start appearing. The case is also more serious and potentially life-threatening if the injury occurred closer to the brain. Number three. The tetanus vaccination is the only way to prevent yourself from getting tetanus. Most usually, the tetanus vaccination involves a combination vaccine called DTaP that immunizes against tetanus, diphtheria, and pertussis. The DTaP vaccine is one of only three vaccines required for entry into kindergarten in all 50 states and Washington, D.C. Number four. Unlike many conditions, we know what causes tetanus. A bacteria, known as Clostridium tetani, produces a toxin that causes the disease. Clostridium tetani can be found all over the world in several different substances, including dirt, dust, and manure. Number five, tetanus is not contagious. This is unique because tetanus is caused by an infection, and most infection-caused illnesses are contagious. Number six, tetanus can reoccur. This doesn't mean that the bacteria lives inside your body and can reactivate. It just means that you aren't immune to tetanus after you've had it. For this reason, it's often recommended that recently recovered patients be vaccinated as soon as possible to prevent any repeated conditions. Number seven, there is currently no known cure for tetanus. This means that the only course of action when you're diagnosed with tetanus is to treat your symptoms until the tetanus naturally resolves itself, which can take weeks. In serious cases, surgery or artificial respirators may be required for full recovery. Number eight, tetanus can be caused by animal bites. Often we pair tetanus only with rust, but it's important to remember that it can be contracted in many other ways, including animal bites. And that doesn't just mean wild animals. Your pet Fluffy can bite you and infect you with tetanus, which is why it's especially important to stay up to date on your vaccines. Other common avenues of infection are through burns and frostbite, especially when medical care is delayed. Number nine, muscle spasms can break bone. Although this doesn't always happen, it's a definite possibility. There's even a condition known as opisthotonus, where severe muscle spasm jerks the spine, head, and neck backwards that can lead to a broken or damaged spine. Sedatives can be used to control muscle spasms, but an overuse of them can cause serious disability in the future, so they aren't always recommended. Number 10. The most common symptom of tetanus is lockjaw. Lockjaw is a muscle spasm that causes your jaws to stay tightly clenched for a period of time. This can be dangerous because it can keep you from swallowing and may even lead to suffocation. Other symptoms of tetanus include fever, high blood pressure, sweating, rapid heartbeat, and muscle spasms. I hope you learned something. Have you had experiences with tetanus? Tell us about it in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Thanks for watching.